everybody, this is Praxis, and boy, are these greenhouses on both sides much, much cooler now. The reason is I finally opened up these back vent windows. Uh, their bottom window, down all the way down there, has been able to open for ever uh, almost and uh, it was able to let air in but without air having any place to go the place would just swelter uh, because the air just couldn't uh, pass through you'd have all this hot air rising to the top and it was putting pressure on here wanting to get out but I had a tarp on here it wouldn't let it out so now the tarps are off and I'm starting to work on uh, boarding these guys up this is the, the four inches of foam on the uh, walls here and the structure and everything and I'm using these tiny little boards to uh, to fill this in going all along the uh, edges here. I'm actually going to use this one because it's got this like crack here. I'm going to use that right up on this side because what's going to get inserted here once I get this all uh, sheathed and the foam's all covered up is there's going to be a kind of like a frame with a bunch of louvers in it. It's going to be the same shape as a window, like a, a frame the sa same shape as that. It's kind of this uh, quadrilaterally kind of shape um, and uh, it's going to have louvers all uh, kind of coming down from the top. So uh, the point of that is that you will not be able to kind of just look down in there and it'll make it so that when rain comes down, rain will uh, will shed off to the outside instead of rain just blowing right in, making these sills all wet. So uh, that's what I'm working on right now is getting the area ready to put in those louvered kind of inserts. Uh, now, uh, one thing that I hate when I do carpentry is waste and making tiny little pieces like this, boy, is this a great use of scrap. Uh, wood. But at the moment, I don't really have any scrap wood. This is a one by eight uh, shiplap uh, board here, and I really don't have a lot of scrap. I, I used a little bit uh, just to kind of finish up this bottom here, but mostly what I've got are these uh, these eight foot long boards here, which you may or may not be able to see beyond the ladder, but there's an eight foot long board here. Uh, mostly what I've got is a bunch of eight foot long boards. Uh, now, I could just go and chop that eight foot board up into these pieces. Uh, these are eight inch pieces. So I could just chop the eight, in, eight foot long board into a bunch of these eight inch long pieces. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little different because I don't want to be left with scrap later on. I want to kind of pre-use the scrap that I haven't created yet. So what I'm doing is figuring out exactly what these frames are going to be like because the frames are going to be made out of this one by eight as well. And I'm pre-chopping all the pieces that I need to the rough dimensions of what the frames are going to be. Uh, once I do that, I'm being left with these things. This one here is labeled top, and this is roughly the size, a little a little bigger, make sure I have some excess. This is roughly the size of what's going to fit in on the top up there. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can process all those, and when I'm chopping those out of the eight foot long pieces of wood, I am being left with some scrap at the end, and that is what I'm pulling the eight inch pieces out of. And the point there is so that I'm not taking a perfectly good, really long piece of wood and chopping it up into a bunch of these and then taking more long pieces of wood and chopping those up into these longer pieces and then having various pieces of scrap left over. I wanna pre-generate the scrap that I haven't created yet and make it so that I have that scrap now because I need the little bits of scrap first before I can put in the big things, if that makes any sense at all. But overall, everything's going really well. The greenhouse is finally a tolerable temperature, uh, and uh, it's great. I just got to work on this. The only thing that's going to be really tricky is these louvers. Um, you know, the angle of the cut is going to be fine up through here, but once it gets up into this angle, you've got an angle hitting an angle, and that's going to be a little bit tricky. But once I figure out exactly what that angle needs,